aliens among us? I, I would say yes. Obviously, in movies, television shows, they're always showing these reptile alien creatures and motion pictures. Again, I am totally convinced for myself that Hollywood makes movies based on real things. Steven Spielberg, in one of his uh, interviews a couple of years ago, he said that I don't make movies to entertain, I make movies to comment on important subjects. I don't make movies to entertain. Well, he's made all kinds of movies about reptile aliens and Jurassic Park and ETs and extraterrestrials and all kinds of stuff like that he's famous for. And if he's not making those kinds of movies to, uh, to entertain, he's making them to uh, comment on important subjects. So even the likes of Steven Spielberg feel this is important. Incidentally, if you can imagine how much money it costs to finance Steven Spielberg to make a 90-minute movie, if you can just imagine, if you contract with him to be this, the executive producer to pay for a movie that he produces, can you imagine how much money it's going to cost you? Because he doesn't go cheap. Well, he made a 19-hour television series 19 hours. Somebody financed him to the tune of 19 hours to Steven Spielberg to make a television series called Taken, in which that was one of his most important subjects in his life, is this concept of aliens taking people. Um, um, not just reptile aliens, but the whole concept of other world entities coming and kidnapping but also in he ate too. Then their mind opened, and they ate, and the light of knowledge shone for them. They knew that they were naked in regard to knowledge. And when they saw their, their makers, when they saw their maker, they loathed them. Since they were beastly forms, they understood very much. So even in the old Gnostic Christian text talking about the makers, or the creators of mankind, were beastly in form. And if that's the case, then uh, we were made the image and likeness of our Creator. And so when we were made, the, uh, the Jewish writings say we had horny skins. So, uh, and so the ancient... Now once, you, once we've established this is a reptilian a, a trait in reptiles, here it's called a helmeted lizard. But you'll see the reptile um, connection between the reptile alien and the uh, lizard with the crested head. Then the, to do 19 hours, it's called Take It. You can buy it in the stores. Uh, almost always lived on a base. And she said, um, she, she went on telling me about they are getting you to come to them. And so uh, their gods had crested head dresses. Okay, guys, if you like this video, this presentation on reptilians by Jordan Maxwell, we have them all. We have them all, and they are on mm, our website, uh, colinrivers.tv. You go to www.colinrivers.tv, you have all of these presentations, the entire Jordan uh, Maxwell collection of videos and books and other rare interviews and presentations that they never been seen before on youtube you won't find them and um we're showcasing the whole thing in memory of jordan maxwell free if you want to subscribe it's only 30 bucks a year so uh what you spend for a dinner you know a uh, um, microwave dinner you probably got the uh many videos more than a thousand videos different news and stuff debunking a lot of stuff and also the jordan maxwell and some david Icke's videos and um and personalities, investigators, researchers in this world, the occult. Thank you, guys. Have fun. Leaves are falling.